Well, howdy. The name's Vex, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, we fucked around a little bit with everybody. Did their events, their social links. And now we're going into the old schoolhouse. This time, we have to take Crow and Milliam. And uh, I'm going to do something real quick right here. That's where you belong. I'm going to be bringing Emma, Fee, and Laura. Because Emma has the highest ATS at this point. And that'll help for the boss fight. And Laura is our strongest member by far with 899 attack. <laughs> and of course we're bringing Fee as well because of her evasion. Which is now up to 65% because I bought another Evergreen. Uh, and Laura's attack is up to 899, 100 more than usual because she has some passionate rouges on her. That increases her, uh, her attack by 50 for each. And why would you even... Floor number five. Here we come. It isn't that bad of a floor, to be honest. There's some switches we need to activate, but other than that... It's not that confusing. No. Take it away. Let's see what we got. You did not say that. Um, so over here, we have a monster chest right off the bat. Along with these things. Oh. Pop off a Scud Ripper. Nobody died. Pop off a gale on these guys. Everybody dead. Let's take a look at Crow. He has pretty much the same setup as he did when we fought the giant armor. We'll go ahead with a demonic scythe for those three. Uh. And we'll go with... Silver Thorn's pretty good. Cross Crusade. Hits for all. Those are actually really low. Mm hmm. Hydro Cannon. And then for Fee. I don't know, Scud Ripper. Hope these things die. Oh my god. Girl, you managed to kill three of them in one go. Jesus. 
お宝ミッケなんとか切り抜けましょう These things are weird. Let's see. t h e of course, gets first strike again because of her speed. Good work. That won't be able to do anything. Go with an arc slash, I guess. Delay. Yeah. Go ahead and do that one. Darn, I could have gotten the weird thing that's just undulating over there. That was a zero art. Well, shit. Oh well. She needs to get her CP back up. Oh, nice Pierce. That one's confused and poor. And blind. Or fainted. He was fainted. And we get Yggdrasil. Oh. Let's see what Yggdrasil does. Defense 10, Strength 7, summons a sentient tree to skewer enemies. Of course it does. <laughs> that would be good for Machias. Just pump petrification all onto him because that's what he's good at. Run over here, take out these pots. Oh, there's a fishing spot here, too? Where? Over here? Over here. Well, I might as well fish. I've been doing a little bit of fishing. I have the Lake Lord Star now, which is the third tier of rod you can get from Kenneth. And of course that means the fishing is a little bit harder. Got an eel. <laughs> so what the fuck is this? I think once is fine. Don't want to spend too much time on that. Want to get to the boss, get that over with. Stop chasing me, please. The flash grenade. Got two of them blind and one of them's asleep. That's good. Papa Gale. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. This is why. Late in the game, a lot of things get a lot, uh, a little bit trivial. <laughs> Marine and Fee clean up really well. <laughs> Hello, giant tortle. Glesseron, <laughs> huh? Yeah. Yeah, that works. Let's see. Scud. Ooh, you got high defense. You got really high defense. I don't like that. I also don't like that. Um, Arc Slash. We'll get Emma in here. No, that's Crow. He only has time. Crow's really good for freezing enemies. See? I pumped him with a couple of freeze quartz. So I have Freeze and I have Seiryu, and both of those increase his Freeze capabilities. It's really good. Uh, Crystal Flood, 165. That's nothing actually for her. That's nothing at all. Go another Scud Rip. Oh, 
doesn't work. And we'll have Emma finish it off. Hopefully. Yeah. Something I didn't notice ever really is Emma's Master Quartz restores her EP whenever she gets a kill. Oh, that's nice to know. I probably should have looked over all of them at some point, but I never bothered to. Like I said, like earlier on in the series, I never changed their Master Quartz out. So it's not like... Because all the ones you're given right off the bat are very passable to use. Oh, jeez. Really? Four of them? What the hell is this shit? Fire is normal, time is normal, so Mirage and Water. Unfortunately, I don't have any Mirage set on him. That's not- that's fine. Do a Grim Butterfly. Uh, do a Freezing Volley. Throw a Freezing Bullet. Oh my gosh. Almost all of them. Do another Crystal Flood. That's pretty good, Fee. I mean, look, I'm so powerful, I don't know what to do. And she gets a crit. Oh. And he learns wild card, draws a card, leaving everything to chance. What will happen? That's, um, very reminiscent of Sherizard's. One of Sherizard's skills, because she uses cards and whips. Where I have to go? Came from there, right? Come on, bounce to me. Bounce to me. This thing should roll, not bounce. Oh. B, you're too powerful. Calm down. I don't even have the proper tactics up. Hold on. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is just all over the place. I don't want Crow all the way back there. I don't want Laura all the way back there. I think Emma should be fine there and Billy, but I don't give a shit about. <laughs> I think this can work. That should be fine, yeah. Okay. Tank formation is really powerful. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's see what wild card does. Now we got sword. Oh, strength up for fee. Kinda decent, I guess.
You would think they'd have something bigger in this room, but no. Ah. They got me trapped in a loop. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. That's a lot of enemies. Is that eight? One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Oh. Does Cross Raven do full. Fuck it, we'll see. Yes, it does. Alright. This is such a fucking retarded <laughs> S break, I swear to god, but I love it. <laughs> oh, you reached level 5 already. You get Chrono Burst. Five turns of speed plus 50%. Once per fight, when below 20%, five turns of speed 50%, and evasion increases to 10. Oh. Now she's at 75? No, she's probably like 70. That was eight enemies. Where's my. Where's my achievement, GOG? What the fuck? So we got three paths here. Oh lord. Okay, so we got there, that goes down, then that goes up, that goes up to there. Okay, so both sides we have switches to hit. I gotcha. Yeah. Do not touch me. You unclean one. I'll tell Kevin Graham on you. I need to get Crow CP back up. That helped a little bit. Brave. We we'll get five turns of strength plus fifty. Tax crafts deal critical damage five percent chance. Damn. Only five percent. We'll take it again. Oh, I should have rushed. Oh well. <laughs> so many status status effects. Oh Jesus Christ, that's horrible. Everybody switch attention to this one because that one's going to die. Oh. Oh well. Let's see what her um, evasion's at. Yeah, 75%. She's going to be dodging everything at some point, Jesus Christ. As soon as we get some better armor for her, that raises her evasion. I don't think there are or there is any armor for that later on. There might be. There was a speed run of this game going on, uh, like yesterday or the day before yesterday. Jesus Christ, why are you missing? 
and I think they just started chapter 5 at 6 hours. I might be wrong. But then again, it was any percent, so... But the thing was, they weren't using turbo mode. And that... That's just amazing to me. Oh, we got freeze. Don't need it anymore. Dog pile on this one. These turtles don't have a chance. I was wondering. Get the final hit in, Rain. There you go. Defense three? Jesus. We're already there. The point where we get defense three and attack three. How Laura's going to be pumped up to hell and back. She's going to be one-hitting everything. She won't even need to use her crafts. Eh, rapid volley, why not? It's not like these things are going to get an attack yet. <laughs> I don't even know where we're at at this point. <laughs> I've completely gotten lost. Kill them both. Oh, That's fine. <laughs> Blind, paralyzed, and frozen. Oh, That's awful. We could just sit here and let him just watch it freeze to death. This is inhumane. Does this go against the Geneva Convention? I feel like this is a war crime. <laughs> Another one of those things, really? Stop following me. The wind is just... Going now, I tell you what. I don't know if you can hear that back there, but Jesus Christ. That's just awful. You haven't seen Ethereal Edge in a while. Still a damn fine move. Zero Arts, Demonic Scythe. I was going to kill no matter what. Are we close to the switch yet? Wait, what the fuck? I just went... Oh, okay. I know what happened. <laughs> I completely missed the switches. Jesus Christ. Where are they at? That 
Oh. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I was confused. Oh well, I took out all the enemies. That's fine. <laughs> oh well. I got it. And then... There's another one. Not here, obviously. Over here. <laughs> I completely walked past it. <laughs> That's funny to me. All right, let's uh, let's get to the boss room. Hopefully, nothing respawns. Here, come over here, and down, and around. There we go. Indeed we did. Let's take a rest. Get everything back to where it needs to be. Uh, yeah, we don't need anything from there. All our slots are open. Ornaments are fine. Nothing there. Can't buy anything, of course. That's all we can do. Your normal save right before the boss. Let's get in there. Oh, you're a big boy. Jesus. Alright, this one, uh, this one can be a pain in the ass. So, let's see it. It's called the Inserter. I've probably messed up the name of it. Uh, Mirage is what you want to be using on it. It's only really affected by Blind and Nightmare. So that's why we brought Fee along, so we can blind it. Uh, you can also make it faint fairly easily as well. So we'll go ahead and go with a flash grenade to start off with. Seven. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's, it's casting time is uh, extremely short. Oh, also, you probably want to put freeze-resistant items on your characters. I don't think I have anything that might help me out of this bind that I've found myself in. Oh, I also found the crispy pizza recipe that I forgot in Nord. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bringing this up now, but I did. So now I don't have to completely restart the game. <laughs> and I've already forgotten what I'm doing, so that's only delay. That's a freeze. Ah. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to tank the hit. That's pretty much all we can do, really. So just have him set up a soul blur. Oh! I don't have any. I don't have a freeze resistant item on Fee because I thought she'd dodge it. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. It's fine. You'd think fire would be really good against this thing, but uh. <laughs> I guess not. So, Arc Slash. And it resisted the delay. I might actually die to this guy. I thought I came in as prepared as I could be, but I guess not. This Crescent Stiff. Defense up by 50. 
Serene Blessing's pretty decent, but we gotta get... Oh, she doesn't have a... What, Recuria? Damn it. We can set up... It's also a one. Jesus! I should have brought Elliot. He has the real heals. She's mainly- I've built her mainly for, um, damage for some reason. <laughs> it's really not good at all. Um... Yeah, you're probably going to die. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> really now? Okay. I didn't really expect this to happen, Jesus Christ. That's fine. Get the fuck up. Reen's dead. How does she only have 150? The hell is that shit? What I should have done, probably, was have Fee run up to it. Because it will usually always attack. Like, enemies usually always attack the closest thing to it. So that's what I should have done. But, no. Uh, we'll just take the... We'll just take the death here, I guess. Mara, please. Hey, it's blind. I guess, uh, I guess this thing is serving me some humble pie. After I just said, oh man, we're so powerful. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Alright, Fee. Go up and try to attack it. Let's see how this goes. No, Reen, what are you doing? <laughs> you asshole. Um, I actually don't really want Crow here. Maybe only for his S-Craft. Because other than that, he doesn't have anything. Maybe Chrono Break. Spam. And then you just do flash grenade, alternate flash grenade and scud, I guess. We'll try to get its speed down and delay it as much as we can. Need to motivate. You need to pop a... Crescent, crescent mirror. So we all have magic. Uh, reflect. 
do your scud. You resisted it. You've got a crit now, which is nice. So go ahead and do Cross Raven. Good job. Scud rip. Good work. And it's painted. You really don't do any damage at all, Fee. Oh my god. Arc Slash. Go with a saintly force. Pop an impassion on Rain. Yeah. We did pop an impassion on Fee next. Nice crit. There, I think we've got a good rhythm going on now. Do another chrono break. That it apparently didn't do anything. Doing a passion on Fee. Your odd eyes don't do anything for some reason. Jesus. You can't do anything. Just keep chrono breaking. Good. Got a crit coming up. Oh, not Gale. Shit. I guess that worked. Kind of, I guess. I don't know. Shouldn't have done that either way. Um... Don't really need any more of that. Let's hit a cross crusade for Emma. Oh, now it's asleep as well. Cool. Now it's not, probably. Do a grim butterfly, since it's effective, affected by nightmare. That was good damage. Good, good, good damage. Arc Slash. So you saw how powerful this thing can be. If you forget the strategy you need to do. <laughs> or don't have a strategy at all. And now you're also seeing just how frail the thing can be. <laughs> I mean, because it, it actually is kind of frail. You just have to know what you're doing with your arc slashes and your scud rippers. All these fucking criticals happening is really nice too, even if he's not doing any damage at all. It's good for chip damage, at least. And then Crow, of course, helping out with uh, his chrono breaks. 
helping with the delay. Do another cross crusade. Her cross crusade should finish it off. There we go. You can take your humble pie back now. So yeah, I shouldn't have started out the first fight with it uh, by using Flash Grenade. Fee managing to get a blind in was really good though, as her first hit, on her first hit. Ugh. Overall, I'd say that was a very successful fight. Let's head back and do another uh, bonding event. Oh, I also... Oh, man. I did a lot of stuff off-camera <laughs> that I've completely forgotten about at this point. I also got the medal from Mary. All I had to do after I did the bonding events were, uh, with Laura and Elisa, once I got Ferris and Monica's... I think it was Monica's... Uh, pages filled out, I got the medal of friendship. 1,000 HP, Defense 25, and ADF 25, so now we have all of the medals. All of the Lionheart medals. Except for the one that Van Dyke gives you uh, at the end of the game. For the last chapter. That's going to be fun to get that one. <laughs> 